Welcome back two weeks later. This is a brand new series where we're going to talk about the albums that we reacted to and how we feel about them two weeks later. Yep. Because generally, I mean, with the first reaction, sometimes we don't get out everything we want to say and it's nice to digest it and then give our thoughts on it. So, yep. So Ryan digested Take Me Back to Eden by Sleep Token mm -hmm. for two weeks. And he's going to give his thoughts on it. Yep. So what'd you think about it, bud? So first I'm going to go through my top three songs. Okay. And then we can kind of do an overview at the end so cool. i'd say my third favorite song is granite nice i love uh the whole production on it the rapping parts were really cool We're not necessarily rapping but the flow was definitely more in like a hip-hop for sure kind of world i really love the abrupt break in granite too like when it goes into that heavy part yes. just because it's so unexpected Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was going to get to. That whole break with the drums, the heavy guitars, just super sick. So good. So I've learned that apparently Vessel is a science major. From At least from the subreddit, somebody said this, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, he's always talking about sulfur, granite. He talks about elements mm -hmm. a lot and stuff that was really interesting whenever I was digging into these lyrics. And that actually goes <clears throat> into some of their earlier albums, too. He does a oh, lot of that. Okay. So okay. Yeah, I yeah. explored That's that. That's really yeah. interesting. I didn't know that. Maybe it's just a joke. Maybe he isn't. And they just say that because <laughs> he's always talking like that. And yeah, what I noticed about this like first verse, the way he sings it, like the cadence, like the first word is kind of said, then there's a pause before the rest of the mm -hmm. line. So he says that twice, but then he repeats the line, you'll never have to talk about it multiple times, which is almost like a hook in there mm -hmm. in the verse which makes it kind of addicting i but, love when he switches it up into the i was more than just a body in your passenger yes. seat you know kind of goes into that cadence there yep totally i think lyrically you know this is about a relationship and he's you know kind of an allegory to a car i love the line i was more than just a body in your passenger seat because it says so much you know he's like in this relationship but apparently now He's just like a stranger in some ways. Like I'm, I'm more than this, but you're just treating me like I'm just a passenger, kind of like an Uber driver, Uber passenger or something, you know, in the back. But as the song goes on, you know, you kind of realize the relationship that's not working out and it's likely gonna crash. Yeah, and then you have the abrupt. Whole boom, yeah, boom. yeah, that whole sick part at the end. So I love that you can interpret the lyrics in so many different ways. Like you take it as a relationship with me being kind of more into the lore i guess especially since our reaction like to me that could be talking about either vessel or sleep like in a passenger seat i was more than just your dark passenger you know now i'm going to become okay. a part of you sort of and then there's like that abrupt break and it, to me that's where it feels like like this whole album feels like to me vessel just sort of reasoning with letting sleep in you know okay. um that's a I take it at least, but okay. yeah, yeah no. Granite is a banger, man. Yep, super cool. And it's actually the one, like when I've been telling people about this, this is the one I've sent them because I think it's the most accessible while still giving the heavy parts and showing their style kind of overall mix. So yeah. I agree. I, I know that the summoning is super popular, but I feel like for your average listener, the beginning sort of turns them off just yep. because it's so heavy right off the bat. But Granite, yeah, it's a great... Uh, song to show people for sleep token for sure during the heavy parts they always have like some type of melody or synth line that's yes. like hidden in the mix and that's what i really enjoy because i feel with most metal like at least that i've heard they don't have that as much mm -hmm. and that what keeps me whenever i start to hear that i'm like okay I, that keeps me going along with the ride for sure metal is more rhythmic i would say than melodic yeah. a lot of it you know like when they go into breakdowns and stuff like it is drum and bass it is heavy it is meant to you know make you move in a certain Headband. way but then when you bring in that melody it's just such uh it's so pleasant to your yes. ears and kind of takes you out of that a little bit and yeah they that part is just so killer <laughs> i awesome. love it my next favorite is aqua regia because of the instrumental i mean it's just so interesting so i think between the synth and the jazz-ish piano that's actually signifying what the lyrics are talking about in a way. He's thinking back, you know, it's like love lost, you know. He's thinking back to the earlier part of his relationship where he was in love. You know, it talks about in here, you know, it was, my love was an animal call. Like it was almost animalistic in a way where he was just trusting his heart. Primal. 
And now that the love or in loveness has faded, it's more mental. He's getting more in his brain about it. But, you know, the love drug, if you will say, will make you yeah. overlook certain... Oxytocin. Right, what he talks about in here. Will make you overlook certain things in the Definitely. beginning of a relationship. So I feel like this is him comparing both sides of him, almost animal and, I guess, mental or consciousness. Him fighting both sides. Like I said, the animal part, and then he says, these days I'm a circuit board, almost like, you know, I'm synthetic. I'm just a robot, you know. All uh, feeling is gone. <clears throat> right. And I, I love that part because the dichotomy of, like, the most primal animalistic things and then these digital things. Right. It's kind of like this weird integration of, like, who who am I? And I think that in a weird way that, like, can speak to kind of all of us today in yep. a weird way you know we're also did i mean you guys are watching this on youtube right now right. you know what i mean so i i like how he I, I like your interpretation of that it's way deeper i just love the trade-offs between the digital and the analog whenever he cool. talks about that yeah and i really had a hard time understanding the lyrics at first i almost went down the the path of oh this is about like anxiety and then today's world you know and he kept comparing like in the previous world you know he talks about the holy book yeah and when the mountains shook and stuff so i was always thinking maybe he's thinking you know if i could strip the mental part of me i won't have these anxieties but i was just an animal just living so that's what i thought about at the beginning but then he does speak about somebody else so that's why i feel and the whole you know put the roses down picking up a sword that's like we're fighting. Aqua Regia is in Latin. Do you know what it means? No. It means royal water, okay. which is an acid. It's a name of an acid that will dissolve gold. Interesting. So in this aspect, I think, you know, he's thinking the love has been dissolved. You know, it's gone. Wow. Yeah. And then even like some of the stuff, you know, later in the song when he even brings up being out of Eden's vices, like take me back. To Eden with this being a, a trilogy I, I don't know that this song is sick actually I'm oh. really glad you picked this one because it's just such a different vibe like the, the when it starts man it's just so good and different and it pulls you in in such a weird way and then totally. that piano you were talking about just dancing in the mix like ah oh, it's great mm. yeah so back to that with the relation of the lyrics I took it as like old versus new like yeah the piano totally. versus the synth no I yeah that well, was you, a when you said that it made perfect sense it's like okay you got this really classic jazzy like mm -hmm. old time piano but then you got like this really intricate synth work you know kind of it's like the battle between the two the whole time it's really it. cool and then you know right here i think this is like the love drug you know the oxytocin, mm -hmm. the <clears throat> silicon ballroom subatomic interactions like i think this is just him representing love if there was like a calculation or a chemistry to it bro was reading from his chemistry book from college man <laughs> seriously right <laughs> right the bridge here is kind of vague oh i'm done dancing to alarm bells no wonder my ears are ringing i at first, I wanted to say, you know, he was giving up on the relationship. He saw that it was over. But then I also think he was just pulled back in and because he ends it again with this whole love, mm -hmm. mathematical, whatever. He brings that back up. So it's either he believes he'll fall in love again or he is just going back to Yeah, sleep he's just stuck whatever. in the same pattern and he's like, I know this is broken and messed up, but I don't know what else. Yeah, and it's just, I love it because so much of it's left up for interpretation i mean totally. uh, we we both take it in completely different ways yep. so once again tell us what you think in the comments for sure that's what i was gonna say yeah roast me if i'm totally wrong you know or just tell <clears throat> us your interpretation like shout right. out to all the sleep token fans on our reaction video that totally. left amazing comments talking about the lore what they think you know it, it was awesome to read all that stuff so leave more <laughs> let us know but uh, what's your favorite song, man? I'm dying to know. So my favorite song on this that I played probably 150, 200 times is Ascensionism. Mm. So I love the buildup in this. The way it starts out with that beautiful piano, him singing very vulnerably. And then it sw switches into that whole hip hop, R&B, mm -hmm. and I think even like trap hi-hats like come in there. Yep. It's super cool. The whole buildup of this, you know, it starts out very vulnerable, goes into that part, and then it ends in that almost crescendo of 
metal. Yep. Super sick. I know. The ending of the song is amazing. And I just love some of the stuff. I don't know. In the age that we're in now with how things are accelerating so fast and, uh, you know, machine learning and all that, like half algorithm, half deity, yep, stuff like that. that. Like, Glitches in the code or gaps in a strange dream. I just love lines like that where it brings in like some sentient being, some deity. It, I think it adds to the sleep lore. I don't know. Yeah. I just like it, it, he. He's such a beautiful lyric writer honestly i i I, lo I love the lyrics on this album yep so the lyrics on this i couldn't fully get an interpretation so if you guys have something better than what i'm saying please share but the gist that i get from this is that ascensionism do you know what that is i mean just ascending um, i'm guessing just to like a higher you're just ascending to a higher plane higher level just so you can take it that up. way there's also the name of a religion that believes you're reincarnated mm. So I think in this regard, although he does have the line about, tell me you met me in past lives, I feel, you know, that's a little bit of a suggestion on it. But I think the way he's talking about it here is that somebody that kind of changes in different parts of their life to fit them. Mm -hmm. So different relationships, maybe they act different. They kind of put on a fake face. Yeah. In order to ascend, to get where they want, you know, they want to use you up. Gotcha. Okay. And then go to the next person. So I think that aligns when you with put on that mask, you know, when you're at work and you want to get that promotion, you know, you talk a certain way or around, a, you know, new partners so you, you, yeah, you uh, fake it till you make it kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. And I think the person whose relationship with sleep, if you want to take it that way, I'm always going to take it to sleep. Right. Yeah. Is somebody that did that. And he's, you know, pissed about it, obviously, because mm -hmm. he felt like, why? Show me who you really are, he says in this, you mm -hmm. know. Some awesome of my part. favorite lyrics on the entire album are on this song because I love the diamonds in the trees, me pentagrams in the me night too. sky. That's such a cool, so cool freaking line, man. Such cool visuals, too. Uh, I mean, the way he sings it over and over, changes it, and then does the whisper right before. So sick. That heavy part, super cool. Yeah, so that's my favorite. I Good choice. Absolutely love this song. Those are my top three, but I've listened to this album several times. It's just so crazy. Like I, I just didn't know how you were gonna take it, and I just love, I just love hearing that that yeah. you that you love it. Oh, I'm super stoked that you showed me this. I mean, yeah, it was I, not I, something I would have seeked out if somebody would have told me what they were. For that, yeah. And that, that first song, I was a little worried. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh boy, what's he showing me? I but it, it, it caught me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, ever since we did that reaction, I've been really digging into their second album a lot too and um Sick. it's just interesting to hear like you know there's still a lot of the sleep token that we hear on take me back to eden but man this is like at least to me and i might get roasted for this but just so much growth between album two and three <laughs> great album glad that you loved it yep yeah I'm stoked to check out more of their work so you better get on that it's coming like and subscribe. This is a brand new series, guys. We're going to try and do this with everything that we listen to yep. because we want to give you a better breakdown of, of these albums, yep. how we digest them, what we think of them, some thoughts maybe that didn't make it in the first episode. Totally. And uh, yeah, let us know what you want to see as we carve out this series. Yep. Catch you in the next one. Thanks. Peace. Later.